Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and recently I had someone hit me up asking me some questions about swing so I decided it's time for another swing tutorial. This one's going to be real quick, really simple, straight to the point. Let's begin. Alright, the first thing we're going to do or that we're going to show you how to do is make a simple drum program. Now, I have a drum program loaded up. It's the MPC 3000 Legacy program. Comes with the software. Here are how some of the drums sound. Alright, and we have the BPM set to 120. Here's how that sounds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Alright, that's how the BPM sounds. One, two, three, four. Alright, we've got our drums loaded up, and the most important part, our swing which determines the groove is set to 50. That means there is no swing. You can't set it to zero or 35 or anything below that. 50 is the base number and 50 means there is no swing on your drums. All right, so let's program a drum pattern with no swing. All right, uh, one of our drums in the beginning is out of place, so I'm just going to fix that a little bit. All right, uh, I think I feel like adding a hi-hat to that. Let's try that. Overdub. All right, this is our basic drum program, right? So you can't see my controller, but I want you to go to yours and I want you to go to the note repeat, right? See what it's set on. Mine is set on 1 16th right now. This is how that same hi-hat sounds with the 1 16th note repeat on it. That's how another drum sounds. I'm gonna overdub that in to see how they differ and I'm gonna mute the hi-hat I just put in there. All right, a lot more repetitive, and mind you, there's no swing on this. So let's go ahead, create another pattern to show you how the swing works. Now, another thing to keep in mind with the MPC software, just because you edit the swing on a sequence does not mean the swing is automatically edited for that sequence after you've recorded stuff into it. What do I mean by that? Let me change the time correct, or excuse me, let me change the swing on this program. I'm gonna set it to perfect swing, which should be around 62, 63, something like that. Now notice, I changed the swing from 50 to 62 but there's no difference in the sequence. That's one thing about the MPC software that differs from some of the other DAWs like Machine. In Machine, if you change the swing uh, for the entire project, it swings everything in that project. This is a little bit different, and it's actually better because it allows you more control over each sound specifically. Granted, in Machine, you have that same type of control, so uh, it's really about personal preference at that point. But since we're doing an MPC software uh, tutorial, let's move on. 
I'm going to create a new sequence. All right, I jump down to sequence five. I'm going to get rid of some of those drums and start over. All right, and I've still got the swing set to 62. So let's go ahead and see how that affects everything. All right, first I'm going to start with the kick drum. Notice how the swing affects these. All right, notice how the drums kind of hit like doo doo. All right, that's because swing is applied to it. Now, I'm going to press note repeat on my controller, and note repeat is still set to 1 16th. But let's see how it changes the hi hat when I record it in. Holding note repeat. All right, and that was with perfect swing applied. Notice how the hi hat sound. The hi hats now sound like this. But see what happens when I set it back to 50. That's how our hi hat sound with 1 16th note repeat and no swing applied. But even with the swing set back to 50, let's see what happens to the actual program or sequence that I program. Let's see if the hi-hats change. They will not. Spoiler alert. So see, the swing is still there even though I set the swing of the project back to 50. It doesn't edit the swing after the fact. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're working with swing and you're programming your drums. Hope this was a helpful tutorial. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. I'll let the team know what's up. Also as well, don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter and please be on the lookout for the website. Follow us on social media too. It's Drum Machine Addicts. We'll catch you next week. Peace.